What's going on everyone? I'm Steve with Cunningham Garage and today we're in the shop back on the TL1000. Today I'm gonna, well tonight, tonight I'm going to go ahead and remove the gas tank, the seat, the battery. I'm also gonna remove the uh, trunk cover because like you saw in my last video, I, there's a few things I gotta replace. Battery's dead, spark plug wires are burnt. We gotta get this thing back up and running. I really wanna ride it again, and I want you guys to watch it. And if you're just now tuning in and you've never been to the channel before, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. Stick around for everything that's gonna be happening. Don't miss a thing. So, I'm gonna pop this off. We'll see what it looks like. And it's gone. So, remove the gas tank, the seat, and the trunk. It's all gone now. It's a little wobbly. I'm not taking this off. I'll explain that in a minute. But took the battery out. Battery was flat dead. Something I noticed I'm gonna need is computer. If you guys, if you're not a TL owner, the computer sits right here for the bike. And there's a little rubber strap that goes across here and hooks on both sides. It it rotted off and broke in half. So I guess I'll need a new one of those. But something else I'm noticing is the cam sensor here is burnt too. So I guess I need to replace that. And a few other things, which I'll grab the camera real quick and show you. Okay, so something you're gonna notice is I told you guys the bike caught fire. So there is the battery, or not the battery, but the, let me see if I can get this off here for you. Yeah, I unbolted this earlier. So I wanted to show you guys. This is the air box that goes on the engine. So obviously that shouldn't be there. That should be hooked up to the, uh, right there. So there's a problem right there. But one problem you'll notice is I replaced this already. So this is a newer sensor, but you can see that fire did a number on this box. And this is a heavy, a heavy plastic. So it got pretty hot. You can see how it kind of started melting there. This is a little, still operates, but it's a little crispy. The, even the top of the box started burning. So I mean, it was a pretty decent fire. Most of the fire was in this area on the back because that is right here. This fuel return line was burnt. So this is a brand new one. It doesn't look like it, but it's, I, I replaced it a while back. And the fuel line that actually connects to this connector right here that goes to the tank, this is the pressure line. That is what was leaking and went straight down and burnt on the previous owner. <laughs> so that's why this bike caught fire from a leaky gas hose. So, yep. And there's that computer that I told you about. That was, I shouldn't do that. Got to fix that too. Battery's out. Got a brand new one I showed you guys in the last video. If you haven't seen that video, check it out in my playlist. Go and check it out. There'll be a lot of videos about this bike. So, but I can't, I cannot continue today because I, in taking the gas tank off the bike, to drain it, I need to take the the, uh, the cap off, and the cap wouldn't come off. The key broke in it. <laughs> I guess it, something happened to it, and it just seized up, and I had to rip the cap off of the gas tank, so now i got to figure out how to do that. guess I'll be buying a new gas cap. So I'm going to go order some parts, and I will see you guys next time.